I guarantee you, you cannot guess what my number one fragrance from this past summer was once you follow me on Snapchat. What's up guys, this is The Centrepreneur here today with a new video. Today I'm showing you my top five fragrances from this past summer. So this is super unexpected, super unexpected list. I had no idea these were gonna place in. Um, the summer was an interesting one. This is the first year where one fragrance placed first in every category. As you know, at the end of each season, I like to take my three best fragrances from these categories, most worn, most complimented, and most enjoyed, and I like to assign points accordingly and put them in order just to show you guys what really killed it for me this past summer. So, <laughs> like I said, this is the first year one fragrance topped every category, and the other four fragrances on this list actually all placed in at two points each. So I organized the first four fragrances according to how good I think they are for the summer. Not what they did for me, but how good I think they are for the summer in my personal opinion. So without further ado, I want to kick into this at the number five spot. Number five is one that I thought would be a lot better for summer, but I actually didn't love it in the summer. I'm enjoying it now that we're into fall, but it just isn't the best when there's heat in involved. And at number five, we've got from Giorgio Armani, it is Aqua Di Gio Profumo. So I've heard everybody say that this is kind of like an all season thing and summer nights kind of, I guess, but we had a super humid summer here. And while Aqua Di Gio Profumo smells fantastic, I found that it didn't really fit with the climate that well. Maybe if your summers are a bit cooler or if it actually cools off sometimes in the nights, like I said, we just had a disgustingly humid summer and I always found that this was good, but it wasn't quite what I wanted for the summer. So Aqua Di Gio Profumo placed in second in Times Worn. I wore this a ton. I wore this a ton because I've been in a rush most of the summer and I didn't know what to wear, so I threw on Profumo. <laughs> Anyway, at number five, we do have Aqua Di Gio Profumo. At number four, we've got my favorite fragrance ever, and it didn't even place in on my summer list, but I started wearing it anyway, because why not? We've got Maison Mar Margiela Replica Jazz Club. So, this is my favorite fragrance, period. It's my number one for fall, for good reason, but it also managed to squeeze its way in into the summer in second in the most enjoyed category. I didn't wear this all the time. I wore it on a few nights out, and to be honest, it didn't really fit that well, especially if it, if I got hot. <laughs> it's it's still just such an awesome fragrance, and I do think that it worked a little bit better than Aqua Di Gio Profumo did. I can't stress enough how disgusting Aqua Di Gio Profumo smells when it gets really humid and sticky. It just doesn't work. Don't try it or or do and get back to me. But Jazz Club just did a little bit more for me, and I think it'll do a little bit more for you. Even though it's not the best fragrance for the summer, I really enjoyed it, and it still gets two points. So, at number four, Jazz Club. Okay, so the only niche fragrance that made this list is, is real expensive. It's a lot more expensive than any of these designers I've been showing you. This is from Roja Parfums, and it is Elysium Parfum Cologne. So, Elysium. You know, it's just so friggin' easy to wear. This this fragrance is really, really awesome. It's a fantastic niche. This placed third in most enjoyed and third in most worn. I I don't get compliments with this stuff. I don't get it. <laughs> you know, people people in the community say that this is the next big niche compliment getter. I don't really get them. <laughs> I, I wear it because I love it and it's so easy to wear. But as far as compliments go, not really. That being said, it's so easy to pair with outfits. It does smell fantastic. I've never had a bad reaction. I've just also never really had any big over-the-top ones either. So, Roja Dove Elysium places in at number three. At number two, what I called the best fragrance of 2018. In my opinion, it's, it's probably my most versatile. Anyway, two points. This placed in... In second in compliments, this is from Jean-Paul Gaultier and it is Le Mal Au Fresh. So, Le Mal Au Fresh, you know it's just a bubblegum sweet version of the original. I really enjoy this stuff. I think if your personality leans a bit more goofy, a little more, or a little less mature, this is such a cool option to go with. Admittedly, I like this stuff way more in the springtime, but I still wore it quite a bit in the summer and it does surprisingly well in the heat. Like I said, it was super humid and sticky and gross here this summer, 
And surprisingly, this fared quite well. <laughs> this one and Elysium actually did a lot better than I thought they would, as opposed to Aqua di Gio Profumo, which I thought would be okay. But as it turns out, this works quite well in the heat, and I decided to put it at number two because I do think it is the second best summer fragrance on this list. Even though when I did my top five designers at the beginning of the season, I did have it at number one, so oops. <laughs> okay, the fragrance that actually just crushed it this summer, and I cannot believe this. Like I said, this is the first time out of the five of these I've done where one fragrance topped out in every category. Time's worn, compliments, and enjoyed. So this is actually my fit, my number five on my designer list when I did my, my top summer list, and I think it's actually number five on my fall list as well. If that rings a bell, it is luxurious, elegant, soapy goodness. We've got Prada Loam at number one with nine points. <laughs> so Prada Loam, I, I don't know what to say about this stuff. I wore it all the time because it works really, really well in the heat, and I even found in the humidity it didn't really affect it too much. It just smelled fantastic, and I just spray a little bit less. I really enjoyed wearing it. Reach for it all the time because it's probably the best dumb reach fragrance in my closet. It smells fantastic. It's just that nice soapy iris. It smells so luxurious and high quality. I love it. <laughs> and as far as compliments are concerned, I've never really had over-the-top compliments with Prada Loam up until this summer. Well, I've got a confession to make. I've become a bit of an over-sprayer, and I would just spray the hell out of Prada Loam, and it gets a lot of compliments when you do. Who knew? There are very few pe people that don't like this scent, so I really just went ham on the trigger this year, and, and it went well. It went real well. I'd get compliments passing by. I'd get compliments up close. Just a lot from people I normally wouldn't expect it from. So huge, massive respect for Prada Loam this year. Uh, in a way, I can't believe that it did as well as it did, but in a way I can. <laughs> it smells fantastic. It's such a good fragrance. This is, oh man. I, I got nothing else to say about this bad boy. You all know it and you all know how damn good it is. You know, you all know how I feel about it. Big surprise this year, topped out in every category. Compliments, most worn, most enjoyed. Prada Loam at number one. So guys, this has been my top five fragrances from summer 2018. Not quite what I expected when I made those lists at the start of the season, but hey man, it worked. So what can you say about that? Let us know down in the comments. What do you think? Was this as surprising to you as it was to me? Frankly, there are three fragrances on here that I thought would be way too heavy for the summer and I actually enjoyed them quite a bit. And number one is a complete shock. Like I said, I had it at number five on my designer list and very quickly I realized that it should have been near the top and as we now see at the top. So let us know down below, what do you think of mine? And also, what are some of your best fragrances from this past season? This has been The Centrepreneur, guys. If you enjoyed, please subscribe down below and hit the thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the bell to get notified when I come out with new content. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you took some suggestions for next summer as well as realizing that although we all start the season off with good intentions and make all these nice lists, nothing is set in stone. You do not know what's going to work until you actually try it. It's actually kind of a dope lesson for life as well, but it goes for fragrances too. So I'll see you in the next video guys. Have a great day with Prada Loam.